Hi everyone, in this video we will create ER diagram for payroll management system. So let's get started. So first of all I will drag the entities. First this table name is employee. First I will um, write all the entities then I will add the attributes. Ok, control C, control V and this one is the department with us. And this one is the payment or salary with us. This one is attendance. This is the leave. salary deduction and finally the designation now I will just design them and I will just adjust them ok I will pause the video so for now I will add the attributes to all entities uh, then I will explain you one by one So these are the attributes of employee ID as the primary key name DOB the address date of hire job title and contact info So these are the attributes of employee and let's move to the um, Department name in the address of department and the Liu Liu has the employee ID because this has a relationship with that it is primary key and foreign key type of Liu start date end date and duration Let's come to the payment, payment ID, date, amount paid, payment method and attendance, primary key and foreign key employee ID, date of attendance, time in, time out, total hours worked, overtime hours and deduction, uh, deduction means that which type of deduction for example taxes or any other things which, are, which will be uh, just to um, subtract from the salary. Uh, so the employee ID, type of deduction, amount and date of deduction. Salary, salary amount, how much is the salary of this employee and this designation, designation means the qualification and education for a job, okay, which are required. Designation ID, job title, job description, uh, required skills, education requirement for this job. So now let's create a relationship for all these entities. Yeah, so I have made the relationship between all entities and I have made some other changes. So let's explain it now. So first of all, the employee and the department. A department has many employee and uh, there are more than one employee in a department. It is one to money relationship. And the employee has relationship with designation. So for a designation, for example, a software engineer, IT engineer or someone else for that is there are many employees and many employees work for one designation. For example, there are more than one software engineer or IT engineer, or, uh, okay? It is one to money. And uh, uh, employee and attendance, it is one to money relationship. An employee has more than one attendance, uh, okay? And it has primary key ID, foreign key employee ID, date of attendance, these are the attributes. Uh, after that, the Employee has one to money with leave. Okay, employee has more than one leave, and after that, the employee has one then um, one to money relationship with deduction. Okay, maybe there are more than one deduction from his salary, and also the employee has a one to one relationship with salary. Okay, once he get the salary, and the salary has one to one relationship with the payment. Once that is paid to the um, Employee, okay, the salary is paid once to an employee, and it was all about the relationship between these entities. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.